Former Assistant Commissioner of Police Paul Slow was on Friday ordered to pay $10 million to head up the Special Organized Crime Unit SOCU of the Diana Police Force, Fazil Karimach, over defamation claims. It has been reported that between November 2, 2021 and January 12, 2022, Slow published on his Facebook and YouTube pages several defamatory words about Karimach. Slow, in his show, Exposing Corruption and Incompetence, said among other things that the head of SOCU was on qualified, was a political puppet, was guilty of sexual offenses, and was complicit in the shooting of a young boy in Burbis. Karen Batch had secured a high court injunction which prohibited Slow from referring to him as corrupt, incompetent, unprofessional, unfit, and vindictive. He had also filed a $70 million lawsuit against Slow. In her ruling on Friday, Justice Simone Morris Ramlaw concluded that Slow had intentionally and repeatedly presented the information in his videos as truth, as opposed to an opinion or a comment, and had in fact created his Facebook page, speaking out, after he had been charged and had appeared before a magistrate in court. The judge also found that Slow's publications appeared to have been motivated by the fact that he was charged, as opposed to any genuine public interest. Slow, former chairman of the Police Service Commission PSC, had been suspended in October 2021 and had later been slapped with fraud and sexual assault charges. Justice Ramlaw, during her ruling, found that Slow had failed to establish any of his defense of justification or fair comment on a matter of public importance and had acted maliciously. Besides awarding damages to the tool of $10 million, the court has issued a permanent injunction preventing Slow from publishing any further defamatory words of and concerning Karen Batch. In addition, Slow has been ordered to pay cost in the sum of $300,000 by July 28, 2024. In granting the award of damages, the judge considered several local cases as well as the aggravating factors, including the number of publications and repeated utterances, and the lack of any mitigating factors, remorse, or apology by slow. Karen Batch was represented by attorney C.V., Satram and Ron Motolo, while Slow was represented by attorney Nigel Hughes. Court documents back in 2022 showed that Karen Batch has contended that following the charges being instituted against him, Slow created a social media program that is broadcasted on Facebook and YouTube under the title Speaking Out, Exposing Corruption and Incompetence. The said Facebook and YouTube pages were created by the defendant or at his instruction for the sole purpose of launching character attacks on the officers that are investigating him for these offenses. In order to prejudice the investigations, the SOCU had argued in his legal submissions to the court. Since creating the said Facebook and YouTube pages, the defendant regularly publishes and causes to be published defamatory materials about and concerning the claimant, Karen Batch further submitted. He highlighted a specific instance in which the Facebook page published the following words, Senior Superintendent Fazil Karambach has disciplinary matters pending against him. He is known to be vindictive and unprofessional, yet he remains in charge of the Special Organized Crime Unit SOCU which he has used to carry out his personal vendettas. This publication, Karambach pointed out, was shared 12 times and had more than 100 interactions. The SOCU had further cited other instances in which his character had been brought into disrepute on the two social media pages. It was argued that as a consequence of the publications, the claimant's reputation has been seriously harmed and he has suffered considerable hurt, embarrassment, distress, and anxiety. The number of publications and the continuing nature of the defamation has increased the defamatory sting. Karen Batch further contended in his legal submissions. As such, the SOCU had secured the injunction barring the social media pages from publishing defamatory statements against him. 